Hi, I'm Severi from Hornet Plugins. Today we are going to show you how to use our AutoGain Pro, the Voluma Automation Utility, uh, with uh, Logic Pro X. Uh, it's quite easy to use it, but since this tutorial has been requested, we are shooting it anyway, and we, are show we will show you how to use uh, the plugin both with external and with internal reference, and see what it can do with uh, just two tracks uh, of electronic music. So, here we have our small project, we have two loops, one is a, a four and floor kick and the other one is a three, 303 uh, acid uh, sound. And we are going to put the auto gain on the 303 to make sure that uh, when a kick plays the level of the, um, of the 303 is uh, uh, kept around uh, the same level of the kick. So. Here is how it sounds without the auto gain on it. So you can hear it's pretty dumb. But uh, if, we use, if we put auto gain here, we are gonna use uh, the internal reference to set the 303 level to a preset value using the gain level knob here. When the internal reference is selected, you also have to pay attention to the gate because um, if the incoming signal is below the set threshold here, no processing is going to happen. So uh, we're going to lower this gain and make sure that everything passes in setting to the minimum of min minus 60 dB. We set the, the processor mode to RMS because we want to uh, have a steady level and uh, we set attack and release at around 600 milliseconds that is fine for this kind of sound so if we uh, press play now AutoGame Pro will try to uh, keep the level at around 0 dB here so it's Clearly, it's too much, we don't want this. So, uh, I'll turn down the internal reference level to minus 18 dB and uh, try again. See, we have a very little movement here because we're using the RMS mode, but um, the AutoGain Pro tries to keep the sound as stable as possible, uh, working both as a compressor and expander together. And if we use peak, the movement will be much more faster here. Also resulting in more pumping because we're working on peaks instead of the average level. But this, is, uh, this method of working is pretty good if you have a, a track that you want to stabilize, you want to make it sound almost at the same level and it's working by itself well alone, like a voiceover or a guitar solo or something like that. If you want to uh, seat the track in the mix, you have to use the external reference and then a lot of other controls activate. I like to use it in RMS mode because uh, peak uh, is too fast for this kind of operation. <coughs> and with this, uh, with, with this uh, mode, uh, we have to use uh, the, um, the side chain because it has to listen to an external reference. So, we will use our kick as sidechain side here and see what happens if we press play. So, you see that the gain is almost uh, even because uh, the sound is uh, so uh, steady that working in, RM in RMS mode uh, you have to lower the gain to keep it at the level of the kick. 
So we can try to speed up operation using a faster attack and release. We go up down to 10 milliseconds and see if it works differently. See, this is more than it's more of an effect because uh, when the uh, the kick uh, sounds, the gain is lowered as minus 6 dB because it would have been lowered by a higher value but we set the gain scalar to 50 if we set to 100% here it should go down to minus 12 you see so this is uh, generally uh, this is a, a too extreme setting that you never want to use and you want to use a slower attack and release and slower attack and release on the reference to uh, have a smoother gain, gain movement so that uh, the, the plugin works like uh, you are riding the fader. This is a pretty good setting for gain leveling here. Uh, if we want to have fun, we can use the reverts mode that instead that reverts the gain, the applied gain. So instead of decreasing, we are now increasing it, and we can work in peak mode and uh, uh, with faster attack and release and see what happens. <laughs> A pumping effect similar to a sidechain compressor. Uh, if the controls the Auto Game Pro provides are too much, you can use the classic mode to make it work like the original Auto Game. If you had several tracks instead of just one, you could have used a, a bus here. So if we send to bus 1 and set it to 0 dB, you can that we can then use bus 1 as sidechain and it works exactly the same way. So, this is how AutoGain Pro can work with Logic Pro X. So, uh, this plugin can be found on www.honeplugins.com so you can go there, download the demo and let us know what you think about it. Thank you very much for watching.